We're only two weeks away from the upcoming WWE draft. So, um, that's gonna be crazy. But right now, let's talk about the full wrestles, about tomorrow night's WWE SmackDown. And the first questions I think you're gonna ask me is, who will be Brock Lesnar's opponent? Because as you all know, WWE has announced that uh, Brock Lesnar will have face somebody at Survivor SummerSlam, and that will be revealed on SmackDown. Whoever, though, my friends, um, WWE didn't show Brock Lesnar's opponent on SmackDown because um, they wanted to, you know, edit that in on you know tomorrow's show, which means that the fans who went to the show didn't get, you know, no information on who Brock Lesnar will face. Instead, tomorrow night, uh, the, all the people that watch it on the television will get the, um, the re will get the answer basically. So, kind of strange move, but I kind of understand why they you know want to do that because they know that the spoiler or you know coming in and this and they want to you know make it a surprise. I think. But anyway, guys, let's talk about the show. So the first match of tonight, we, we what we had was Seth Rollins versus the return of Jey Uso. With Dean Ambrose on the Dean Ambrose as a special guest ring announcement, Seth Rollins actually defeated the return of Yeyu. So here, um, the funny thing about this match is that Dean Ambrose, like I said, was a special guest, you know, ring announcement, and he was actually there to mess, you know, mess, you know, with Rollins through the entire match by saying the saying bad stuff to him or kind of you know interfere in the match stuff like that. And afterward, the match, you know, they um, they spared after the match, but nothing, you know, nothing really got, you know, uh, physical. But I thought it was kind of fun. I mean, it was a very good opening match. Um, so big props to that. Now the second match of tonight is kind of a big deal to me, or you will see. The second match of tonight, we saw Zack Ryder versus Sheamus. Uh, Zack Ryder actually defeated Sheamus with an elbow drop. He actually debuted with a new entrance, you know, music. Um, after that, he, he gave an interview, you know, challenging Rusev for the United States Champion on Raw next week. Afterwards, we saw Rusev did an interview backstage and he and said that the match will, you know, be announced uh, as, you know, gonna happen. So next week on Monday Night Raw, we're gonna see Zack Ryder versus Rusev. But let me see you guys. Zack Ryder defeated Sheamus. Let that sink in for you. Zack Ryder defeated Sheamus with the elbow drop. I am surprised as you might be as well. I am so happy that perhaps Zack Ryder is gonna get a little bit more push than you know, you know, randomly being a single jobbers because Zack Ryder, in my opinion, is a good wrestler. I mean, we see him when he won the. Intercontinental Champion at WrestleMania, people loved him. I mean, he, I, I'm still shocked that he won, you know, the Intercontinental Champion at WrestleMania, but, but I mean, I th hopefully, hopefully this will be a good, you know, career for, you know, um, Zack Ryder when, when they're gonna do the grand split. But so, big props to Zack Ryder, woo, 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 and every stuff like that. Now, let's talk about a third match, and it comes with the women's match. And that was on Natalia attack Becky Lynch for the like second or third week in a row as she was walking out for a match and beating her down until the referee came out to help Becky to the back. And you see, I don't understand this. I know that you want to build Natalia to be a super heel that to kind of kill you know, Natalia's uh, face um, career or stuff like that, which I understand because in my opinion Natalia should be a uh, because I think that's kind of cool for a character but the way they book this feud in my opinion I think it makes Becky Lynch look weak because this is not the first time that you know Becky Lynch gets attacked I mean she has got attacked from backstage and she's you know been attacked you know in a match and right now she's been attacked um, before you know she's gonna have his ma her match and it's kind of, you know, boring right now. I'm not saying it's at now boring, but if WWE keeps, you know, doing the same kind of um, thing that, you know, one of them are getting attacked, it's getting so fucking boring. But hopefully this match will be very good at Battleground. Uh, so we have to, you know, stay tuned for that. But yeah, 
So the fourth match or the third match, sorry guys. Uh, no, this is actually the fourth match of tonight. We saw we saw Styles versus Enzo because Enzo before the match, Enzo Moore and Big Cats were out for a promo saying that they wouldn't stand for the club attacking John Cena or anybody else. Afterwards, the club came out uh, and the two, you know, sides went back and forth, and that was, you know, leading to the match where Styles versus Enzo. Styles actually defeated Enzo here, but it was said by the fans that this was actually a good match. So very good there. Now the fifth match of tonight, we saw the Miss versus Kalisto in a match that was made because Kalisto took credit for throwing food on Maurice during the food fight on Raw this week. And this match, in my opinion, was kind of strange because I mean the Miss is good, Kalisto is good, but the way that they booked it, like Kalisto took you know credit for throwing Maurice food at Maurice. I mean it's just so fucking stupid. But like I said, Miss defeat Kalisto here. I mean, Miss looks strong, Kalisto looks weak. I don't, I don't want to um, complain there. But okay. So after that match, we saw a backstage interview where Sasha Bank gave an interview backstage, but she was interrupted by Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Uh, they announced uh, Sasha Bank versus Dana would, you know, face each other on next week's Raw. Afterwards, we had the main event of the show, which we saw Zami Zayn versus Mr. Y2J, Chris Jericho, in a main event, in a good match, where people actually say it. Because Zami Zayn actually defeated Chris Jericho here. Keep in mind, guys, that Kevin Owens was also on a commentary, attempting to distract, you know, Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn ended up, you know, winning the match with a roll-up. Jericho laid him out with a code breaker after after uh, and Owens ended up and you know Owens ended, ended the show uh, standing tall after a pop-up powerbomb of his own. So that was this week's my friend and what I can tell you right now is that this fucking Smackdown is one of the best Smackdown of the entire fucking year. So far. So far one of the best Smackdowns I have ever seen. Looking at this on paper, I am excited. I'm excited for WWE SmackDown. I haven't said that in a long fucking time. But looking at these matches, holy shit, this is a very good improvement by WWE. So big props to you, WWE. And this is going to be interesting to see, like, if SmackDown will, you know, be this good every week. But holy shit, this SmackDown was very good. So, yeah, guys, this SmackDown gets a 9 out of 10. No fucking kidding. This SmackDown was so fucking good. I think all the matches for tonight was very entertaining. This show was very entertaining. I mean, usually they have you know some matches that's kind of that are kind of bad, but in my opinion, I I liked all the matches. But anyway, guys, this that's all for this video. And please don't forget to you have to watch SmackDown tomorrow to find out who Brock Lesnar will face at SummerSlam because WWE did not announced it um, for the crowd so yeah that's it guys please like this video and please share it and can we might get two likes for this video it will be so fucking happy if you can do that but anyway guys stay tuned hope hope you have a fun day and uh, i see you next video peace guys